Gaming Bolt presents 30 video game characters so similar you may mistake them as twins. Video game design is hard work, and designing a unique character even more so. Days upon months of effort go into creating the right look, coupled with an interesting backstory and overall direction. However, with so many different video games in a single year, never mind over the past decade, it's only a given that some characters would resemble others. Let's take a look at 30 video game characters so similar you may mistake them as twins. Quan Chi from Mortal Kombat and Kratos from God of War. The pale skin, dark circles around the eyes, abnormal bloodlust, it's amazing how much Kratos and Quan Chi have in common. Though the former is a jacked Spartan compared to the latter's sneaky sorcery, the resemblance is still fairly uncanny. William from Neo and Geralt from Witcher 3. Swords and other assorted weaponry. Check. Tall, brooding, handsome, and topped with white hair. Check. The desire to confront beasts at every turn and never backing down. Check. William from Neo may not have Geralt's numerous scars, but he's a dead ringer for the Butcher of Blaviken at times. Scourge from Gears of War 2, and Predator from Aliens vs Predator. Maybe it's the locks, the usage of a staff for combat, or just the scale-like nature of Scourge in Gears of War 2, but he bears more than a passing resemblance to the Predator. There's enough different about their motivations and general vibe to separate them. Scourge is most definitely not trying to fight the strongest warriors of every civilization for trophies, but we just can't shake that feeling of deja vu. Moira Burton from Resident Evil Revelations 2 and Abigail Fetch Walker from Infamous Last Light. Abigail Walker and Moira Burton are pretty different, which makes sense when you consider the former is an adult and the latter is a teenager. Oh, and one of them can control Neon since she's a conduit. However, the dressing sense, look of annoyance, and hairstyle aren't too far off from one another. If nothing else, Abigail and Moira could very well be sisters. Roxas from Kingdom Hearts 2 and Ventus from Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Kingdom Hearts loves to confuse you. If it's not the clone created from the memory of a nobody, itself another form of a person, then it's stuff like Roxas and Ventus. They're nearly carbon copies of each other, right down to the eyes and hair. Even their casual clothes have many similarities. And of course, since this is Kingdom Hearts, it's only a given that both Roxas and Ventus have other versions of themselves. Nina Williams from Tekken and Jill Valentine from Resident Evil 5. What is it with Japan and its obsession for blonde women in skin-tight leather outfits? Nina Williams from Tekken is obviously the key example here, and it's no wonder that she shares so many resemblances with Jill Valentine's look from Resident Evil 5. There is that slight difference that sets them apart facially, but honestly, depending on the screens you look at, they might as well be twins. Katana from Mortal Kombat and Psylocke from X-Men vs. Street Fighter. To be fair, Psylocke didn't start out as a video game character. That being said, she has been featured in many games like X-Men vs. Street Fighter. In hindsight, it's kind of hilarious to note the number of similarities between Psylocke and Katana from Mortal Kombat. However, one is purple and uses psychic blades, while the other is blue and has steel fans. In another life, perhaps. Heomaru from Samurai Showdown and Mitsurugi from Soul Calibur. Heomaru is part of the cult classic fighting game series Samurai Showdown, and Mitsurugi from Soul Calibur is the default badass samurai we've come to expect from Kurosawa films. The resemblance isn't too much of a coincidence if you choose the two-player outfit in Soul Calibur from Mitsurugi. This results in his hair being tied back in a white outfit with black designs not unlike Heomaru. Roy Bromwell from Project Justice and Terry Bogar from Garu Mark of the Wolves. Without his trademark red jacket and cap, Terry Bogar could pass for Project Justice's Roy Bromwell but with shorter hair. Then again, Bromo could pass for Terry's Garu avatar if he dresses more casually and grew his hair out. The funny thing? Each has a blonde girlfriend with Roy dating Tiffany and Terry finding solace with Mary. Talk about similar fates. Ellie from The Last of Us and Jody from Beyond Two Souls. When The Last of Us began production, actress Ellen Page served as the likeness for protagonist Ellie. While this was modified down the line to make her more unique, it was enough for Paige to accuse Naughty Dog of ripping off her likeness. Paige would then go on to play Jodie Holmes in Beyond Two Souls, lending her actual likeness and voice to the character. It's as open and shut a resemblance as you can get. 
Strider from Strider and Bakruyu from Bloody Roar. There's the loving homage that Soul Calibur presented to Samurai Showdown with Mitsurugi's two-player costume. And then there's the obvious rip-off job by Bloody Roar's Bakruyu. Seriously though, the dark blue attire, red flowing scarf, and brown spiky hair. The man's a dead ringer for Strider of Capcom's classic Strider series. And no, Bakruyu having his mouth covered doesn't count. Sora from Kingdom Hearts and Scion from The Bouncer. This has been pointed out before by the kind folk on the internet. But there is something weird about Scion from The Bouncer and Sora from Kingdom Hearts. The former's hair is a darker brown and he looks older, but otherwise their clothing aesthetics and auras are eerily familiar. Maybe it's the shorts or the necklaces or the red hoodies. Regardless, Tetsura Nomura was responsible for both of their designs, so it makes sense, sort of. Seifer from Final Fantasy VIII and Albert Wesker from Resident Evil. Closer inspection will showcase the differences between the two, but if someone told you that Final Fantasy VIII's Seifer looked like a younger Albert Wesker, then how would you unsee that? Wesker is missing the face scar, obviously, and passes more for Val Kilmer, but still. Blame it on the sharp cheekbones and slicked back blonde hair. Cole McGrath from Infamous and Jake Muller from Resident Evil 6. The gritty, bald, electricity channeling hero of Infamous, namely Cole McGrath, isn't all that different from the likes of Jake Muller. The latter possesses his own super strength and troubled past. Eventually, both have to come to terms with who they are. It's probably their stubbled beard and short cropped hair that actually makes them so much alike, though. Genji from Overwatch and Cyborg Ninja or Gray Fox from Metal Gear Solid 1. We're not going to spend too much time dissecting the particulars of Genji's armor versus Gray Foxes in Metal Gear Solid 1. Honestly, Genji, like many Overwatch heroes, is a mishmash of several different influences. Nevertheless, whether it's their respective poses or tough-as-nails attitude, both Cyborg Ninjas share more than a few things in common, though only one went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Metal Gear. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.